Hello, dear friends. Uh, this video comes a bit too late uh, compared to the, the last one that I have made, which I am trying to follow some kind of schedule and uh, I am trying to do uh, a video per week, at least. But uh, this time I had a little problem with my right foot, not doing training, uh, but it was a, a silly thing. Um, nothing really... Uh, it is not a huge problem, I am almost healed already, but uh, I had to, to, to change idea. I, I, I wanted to do um, a video about an action, but well, I am here with something more interesting this time. Um, and uh, it is this book made by uh, the Royal Amoris. And uh, this book, as you can see, is a copy of the 133. It is a very well made copy. Um, um, it contains uh, all the pages of, uh, of the manuscript and uh, a translation of the, the manuscript in English. Also the original text uh, um, it is, it is present in the book. Um, and there is also a very interesting and well-made uh, um, uh, world to, to the story that we know of the manual itself. Okay, so let's see um, a bit of uh, this book together. So, as I have said, this book is very well made and, uh, of course, it is made by the Royal Amois itself, which is the museums, museum that have the 143, the original manual. Uh, as I said before, it contains all the history that we know about the manual and uh, this is probably the most interesting part because it contained also something which I was not, know, uh, I was not knowing before. As you have probably seen from the first pages that we have seen together, the, the manual also, the manual, sorry, the manual, this book contains also um, some comparison with the more later uh, Swoden Buckler fancy. So it is also interesting to read about uh, how, for example, other masters probably used this manual to, um, to understand Buckler fencing or to write other manuals. Uh, about uh, also sword and buckler fence. So probably 153 influenced a lot the, the, all the history of, uh, of fencing that we see today. So what about this book? Why to buy it? Well, uh, first of all the images are very, very good. It is a high resolution, uh, it is an high resolution copy of the book itself. Um, I particularly like the fact that it, it, is not, uh, it is not too shiny on the page. It, it seems that, that it is a, a, a real book and not just a, a series of photos about the book itself. Um, the translation is uh, made by Forgang, I think uh, it speech like that. Geoffrey Forgang, which made the, uh, also the last translation for the chivalric uh, book. The, the, last, uh, the last copy that was made uh, of, the, of, this, uh, of this manual. And uh, of course, as far as I know, I have just written a bit of, uh, about him. He's a very, very good uh, uh, translator and uh, historian. And uh, so this, uh, 
this, uh, this translation is very well made and uh, also I have the last book, the, the Chivalric one, uh, Chivalric Press one, and um, yes, probably this, uh, this translation is a bit better in some aspects. Uh, not, not a lot of stuff, of course, because, uh, well, this is the manual, so it doesn't change in time, but uh, probably the knowledge about the manual is a bit more uh, complete in these days, so this translation is a bit better. So, the quality of the book itself is very good, it is very fine. Um, it comes uh, from for the price of 70 pounds, more or less, 69, 68 English pounds. Uh, I um, personally think that it is worth it and um, I'm quite uh, happy to have it even if it was a gift for me <laughs> I have not bought it, bought it itself myself sorry um, I may suggest you if you like uh, the 153 manual if you study the 153 manual just buy this copy because it's, it is very well made um, some, uh, someone on uh, Facebook uh, asked me what uh, it is how this book is compared to, as I said before, the Chivalric uh, Press edition, which was the previous edition uh, made uh, uh, about this manual. Uh, well, the Chivalric Press edition was very well made, but uh, this is a bit better. Uh, it is better because of the images, it is better because of the translation. It contains a more complete uh, uh, walkthrough about uh, the history of the manual, as I said before. And um, yes, it is just um, a bit better. <laughs> so, what I suggest to you is buy it and uh, you will have a very um, good book about the 150 degree manual and you will don't regret buying it at all. Um, again, <laughs> as I always say, uh, the Royal Armouris doesn't pay me <laughs> to say this, so it is a, a very, uh, it comes from the heart, it's a very, uh, it's a very good book. Um, I hope uh, you will like uh, this video and uh, I hope you will like this book too if you buy it. And uh, thanks for watching, see you next time.